In this video, we'll learn how to write electron configurations for elements. It can be a little bit intimidating at first, but with some expert explanation and practice, you'll get it in no time. At the center of each atom, we have a positively charged nucleus. Then around it, we have electrons, which are found in what we call orbitals. With just one electron, we have hydrogen. The one, that's the energy level, which is also the period or row it's found on in the periodic table. The s, that's the shape of the orbital. Here it's a sphere. And we write the superscript 1 to show that there's one electron in that 1s orbital. So the electron configuration for a hydrogen is 1s1. When we add another electron to the 1s orbital, we have helium. We're still in the 1s orbital, so we write 1s to show that it's the 1s orbital, and then we write a superscript of 2 in order to show that there are two electrons. At this point, we've filled the 1s orbital. For lithium, the next element on the periodic table, we add another electron, and we put it in a new orbital, the 2s orbital. For lithium, we have the 1s orbital, which is full, and then we have the new 2s orbital with one electron. So that's the electron configuration for lithium. As we go on, there will be orbitals with different shapes, like the p and the d orbitals, but it's the same general idea. We're placing electrons in orbitals around the nucleus in a pattern, and we're writing that pattern down in an electron configuration to describe the arrangement of those electrons. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.